Zebediah, Zebra, Zebediahria. <laughs> You've been a great dude, order. and I've loved having you as a little brother. And it's especially special to have all of you guys around here and having such a great time tonight. And this is going to be such a fucking good wedding. And let's fucking go. Woo! Love you guys. Bride and groom have found love at last. Today they seal the deal and enter the most coveted bond of husband and wife. I just want to start by saying how lucky Zeb and Michaela are to have found someone so loving, caring, and handsome to officiate their wedding. <laughs> and I'll tell you, if you want to find the kind of person someone is, look at their friends. Zeb and Michaela have some of the best road dogs, rider dies, buddies, homies, pals, mates, homeboys, homegirls. These all mean the same thing. I'm just driving the point home here. These are beautiful people with beautiful friends. Time is a wasting. I'm Zeb's sister. Zeb and I were blessed to have been in the same grade, had the same friends. Most of you are here today. He put up with all the girl drama, and I think he liked it. Michaela and I have known each other for what seems like our entire lives. I remember in elementary school, we rode the bus home from each other's houses just to raid our parents' pantry for snacks and make up dance routines to Ashley Simpson songs. So Michaela and I have been best friends since high school. It's crazy to think about how much life we have done together. From working our first job at QFC to nursing school. Since I was 10 years old, I always wished to have a brother. And um, that, that wish came true. And I'm really glad you're my brother. And I'm really glad to celebrate this day with you. And don't fucking make me cry. <laughs> All right. Well, my brother's gonna make me cry, so um, we're gonna we're gonna make it short and sweet, and we're gonna end it right there. I love you guys so much. So. On three, let's get married. <laughs> One, two, three, let's get married. There's nothing greater in the world than finding the people whom we feel safe, secure, and at most ourselves. We search to find the person who loves us so unconditionally, we simply can't do anything but believe in them. Zeb and Michaela believe in their love today. As they go forward into the next chapter of life, they do so with the confidence of knowing that their search for that one special person has come to an end.
Michaela. I never thought I would end up finding someone like you. Someone who truly understands me, has the biggest heart I know, and would do anything for the people she cares about. Someone who even loves mini golf almost as much as me, which I didn't even think existed. you seven years ago in Brewster, I knew something about you was special. I felt almost immediately comfortable with you as if I had known you my whole life. I still can't believe you fell for someone like me, even after you watched me trip and almost bashed my face in after our first date. <laughs> and to think how far we've come from that day, we bought a house, got you a new first car, and have graduated college to pursue our careers that we worked so hard for. Although sometimes you may drive me crazy, you truly make me the happiest girl in the world. And I know that whatever happens in life, you will always be my biggest supporter, and I will continue to love you for the rest of our lives. I cannot wait to be Mrs. Porter. I now pronounce you spiritually and legally united. You may now kiss the bride. I need you. Promise not to get mad whenever you beat me at golf or any other sport, despite my aggressive competitiveness. I promise to laugh at even the worst of your dad jokes. I promise to let you win sometimes at a round of golf. I promise not to complain whenever you turn on your reality TV shows that you love so much. I promise to watch your favorite Marvel movies the first time you ask me. I promise to put away my clean laundry in a timely manner and not let it sit in front of my closet for weeks at a time. But most importantly, I promise that I will love you forever. Michaela, my sweet baby girl, you are so beautiful inside and out, and even more beautiful today with the man by your side. Zeb, ever since you came into Michaela's life, you have fit perfectly. I've never seen anyone get Michaela like you do. You always accept her for who she is, and you balance her out in all of the best ways. Cheers to Michaela and Zeb. Michaela, you're so good for Zeb. You make him laugh, you support him, tease him, and even put him in his place when you need to, which is most important. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the life you guys build together. I'd like to invite up my BFF from college because we were pregnant at the same time with our girls, and we are gonna do a little toast to you guys. Ready, drop the confetti. Get ready, drop the confetti. Get ready, drop the confetti.
All me and Michaela wanted to do on our wedding night was just have the most fun, and so far, this is the best night of our lives, and we couldn't have done it without any of you. We're just very excited that you all came out to celebrate with us, and we can't wait for you all to party with the Porters. I came to party. I came to party, party. I came to party. guys with this poem written by the poet Machine Gun Kelly <laughs> in the song My Bloody Valentine. I can't hide how I feel about you inside. I'd give everything up tonight if I could just have you be mine. Be mine, baby. <laughs> We did it.